And the eyes of the nation are definitely on Pennsylvania and the big races being decided here today and tonight. Joining us now from New York for more insight on primary election day 2022 is CBS News Director of Elections and Surveys, Anthony Salvanto. And Anthony, thank you so much as always. These are your playoffs leading up to the Super Bowl. Tell me this, what are you watching tonight and why? Good evening to you. Good evening, and you know what? Everything I'm going to be watching starts around and in, in Philadelphia. I, I'm not just saying that because I'm talking to you here. here. Here's what happens. If I show you a map of the state of Pennsylvania, and the darker blue areas are the counties that have proportionally more registered Democrats in them, mm -hmm. well, look at how dark blue it is in Philadelphia and around in the suburbs. So for the Democratic side, we're going to need to see a lot of vote from there as votes start to come in. In fact, if I actually zoom in here and I show you the neighborhoods of Philadelphia, we're going to be watching this. The darker blue areas, West Philly, a little bit in South Philly and North Philly, are even more Democratic. So it's that Democratic registration that's going to give us an indication, mm -hmm. not just of how things are going, mm -hmm. but also of turnout. We expect about 1.2 million ballots on the Democratic side here. Maybe as many as half of them, though, cast in advance, cast by mail. And then let me flip over here and I'll show you the Republican race. And what I want to show you is that when you look at the state among registered Republicans, yes, you have a higher proportion of registered Republicans in and around central Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. but it's still going to be really important in the suburbs, Montgomery County and others, because there's still hundreds of thousands of votes sure. to cast there. That's what I'm going to be watching as the votes come in, guys. Anthony, let's go deeper into the numbers. What is it in the polling that you have seen uh, voters are looking for specifically? You know, it's so interesting because electability has been one of the things in the public polling that's really stood out, and especially on the Republican side. What's interesting about that is that there is going to be a debate on the Republican side about nominating candidates for, for these offices where they're going to be facing a statewide electorate but the party faithful have majority told us in poll after poll that they want a candidate who is loyal to former President Trump, that they want a, a candidate who's going to follow his policies, so even the ones that they say is important to talk a lot about the 2020 election. And there's going to be debate going forward mm. about how well that's going to sell for that statewide electorate that they have to face in November. And I think that's going to be really the key question going forward, no matter who comes out of this tonight. Sounds good. And once again, piggybacking off of that, what do you think these primaries are going to tell us about those elections six months away in November, as you mentioned? Well, p yeah, part of that then comes out to t comes down to turnout, too. One of the things we'll gauge here is, is there excitement on one side or the other? Mm. And, you know, maybe about 1.4 million ballots cast on the Republican side. That still could be about 40 percent of registered Republicans. Some people will use that as an indicator. Does that roll into the midterms where, look, Republicans hope to do well, especially in a midterm election for a first term president? But that energy doesn't start to generate now in the spring. Mm -hmm. and then can they carry it over into November? That's one of the things you start to watch tonight when the votes are counted, guys. It'll be here before we know it. Anthony Salvanto, love the way you crunch the numbers. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate you. The polls are open until 8 o'clock tonight. That's also the deadline to return your mail-in ballot. We put everything you need to know on our website, cbsphilly.com slash PA primary 2022. And we will have regular updates tonight starting at 8 on our streaming channel, CBS News Philly.